Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. So I might want to add to my introduction that we can discuss all things Book of Mormon, as this video has an interesting spin today that I'd like to highlight. It mostly started with a contact I received from Professor Richard Saunders of Southern Utah, where he asked me about a few videos that I posted to this YouTube channel. He informed me that he has done some extensive work and recently published a book specifically regarding the 1920 edition of the Salt Lake Book of Mormon. A few days later, Stephen from Mormon Book Reviews contacted me that he met Richard Saunders at a Mormon History Association conference and we compared notes. So long story short, a shout out to Stephen from Mormon Book Reviews, where he coordinated a three-way video interview with him, Richard Saunders, and myself. I was so honored to be part of that. So the Mormon Book Reviews interview will be posted simultaneously to this, and I'll encourage that you watch it and check out Mormon Book Reviews' YouTube channel. And what I'd like to do today is review Richard Saunders' book called The 1920 Edition of The Book of Mormon, with a subheading of A Centennial Adventure in Latter-day Saint Book History. This is a hardcover edition with a copyright of 2021 and published by Greg Coford Books, with a dust jacket showing various editions of the 1920 Book of Mormon. This is a comprehensive printing and historical analysis of what it took to publish the 1920 edition of the Book of Mormon. So we usually focus on Book of Mormon printings and have previously discussed the 1920 edition of the Book of Mormon before. However, Professor Saunders' book is significant enough that I'd like to think that it's worthy of a book review here due to the fact that it goes so in-depth for such a specific Book of Mormon printing that it becomes a great reference source for study and research. In his introduction, Professor Saunders splits his text into three parts. The first section is all of the historical all of the historical background of the 1920 edition. I'm impressed that there's so much material, and it's a good source to review all of the details of how and why it got printed. It seems that James Talmadge was among a committee to create a uniform printing of the Book of Mormon for both missionary and personal use. It took most of 1920 to proofread and coordinate the printing. So the 1920 edition actually wasn't available until late in that year, almost up until Christmas time. Professor Cassandras goes into depth regarding the printers that, that the church commissioned and all of the various printing dates. Among this is the discussion of the cannot air and other anomalies within the first print run of the 1920 editions. Which brings up the second section of this work. Professor Saunders provides an extensive catalog of all of the printings and uh, variations for that edition. And it's extensive. It goes through years 1920 through 1948 and lists all the variations, covers, fonts, even down to the printing dates and the printer's markings. In the interview, uh, he mentioned that his librarian's experience helped him create a valuable list to describe the variation and the details that make that unique book. The third section of the book is an overall, uh, overall overview of what happened after the printing, specifically the 1948 copyright and printings afterwards. One thing I've been guilty of is the vocabulary that I've used and that I'm changing because of this, this book. There's a very specific parameter when it comes to the 1920 Book of Mormon that was used until the 1948 copyright. So there's a big difference between the 1920 printings and the 1920 format or layout that was used until the 1981 printing came out. So all in all, I'm very impressed with this book called The 1920 Edition of the Book of Mormon by Richard Saunders, a comprehensive and historical analysis and bibliography of all of the 1920 printings of the Book of Mormon. This is some wonderful background history and um, has become a great reference material for Book of Mormon research. Once again, this was recently published and can be picked up at the Greg Coford, web, Greg Coford website and other book sale websites. Thanks everyone for watching this. Uh, once again, Mormon Book Reviews will have a three-way interview with Stephen, Richard Saunders, and myself. A huge shout out to Stephen for coordinating this as we are scheduled to produce this YouTube video and his uh, video simultaneously. I'll post the link in the description below when the Mormon Book Reviews interview comes out. If you have ideas on specific editions of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed here, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. 
Best wishes until next time.